Today we're going to talk about the arch nemesis of primitive survivalists everywhere, the Bic lighter. Now all kidding aside, whenever we talk about fire making, somebody's gonna say, well, I would use my Bic lighter. I would never use a ferrocerium rod. I would never use a flint and steel. I will never use a friction fire. You're an idiot. And I sorta have to agree with that. I think that having a lighter in your pocket is very, very valuable in any type of circumstance. But with this, just like a flint and steel, friction fire, or ferrocerium rod, comes not only positives, but also negatives. Now one of the negatives with a lighter like this, especially in super cold environments, is that it can freeze up. So simply sticking it in your pocket or under your armpit just for 30 seconds to a minute warms it up just enough to get it going and working again. Another issue is high wind, so being able to block the wind and light this thing is going to be beneficial, but most people can figure that out pretty quickly on the fly. Leaving us the last most important thing is when this gets wet, how do we use it? And that is what we're going to look at today. So before we even get started with this thing getting wet, buy a bright colored lighter. That way when you drop it on the ground, you can find it really quickly. And secondly, you need to prep your lighter. Prepping your lighter is an easy process. Lighters come right now with this child safety mechanism on. This child safety mechanism is for number one, children, but number two, it is going to trap more water inside. So simply take your knife or a multi-tool and pop that thing free and don't worry about it. Now our lighter is prepped and ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our lighter out now. It's been in the water for a little bit. And there's a couple things we want to think of right away. Is number one, we need to make sure that it's not just gonna light up. So there's water squirting out every time I flick it and uh, we're gonna need to do something about that. So the first thing that we're gonna take care of is the fuel port. So when I press this red button back here, what that does is actually spray fuel out of the nozzle inside. So if you look down inside this, there's a small little nozzle down in there and that gets flooded out with water. Now the water is not gonna work itself into the lighter, it's just gonna flood out the beginning of that port. The easiest way to do this is give it a quick shake. I mean, it could be a little bit quicker than that. And then you're simply gonna wanna just blow some air down into that port to force the water out. Now you gotta trust your instincts with that. There's really no way to test it until we get some sparks. Now that we have the fuel port cleaned out, we can move on to the second step in this method and that is drying out the sparking device. We have this small little wheel on each and every lighter and inside that is a piece of flint or a ferrocerium rod that we strike and the wheel itself is cutting into that ferro rod, throwing sparks into our fuel source and igniting that flame. But we're not gonna have those sparks if that wheel is wet. So again, we wanna just give it a little bit of air help dry it out a little bit and then proceed on. Now there's a couple different schools of thoughts with this. Number one, if you're trying to conserve your lighter, you can just take the edge of your shirt and work it inside that small little wheel and that will work just fine. It's a little bit more time consuming and with cold fingers, that's not always the easiest thing to do. So what I like to do is just take my pants, take my lighter and just start to work my lighter on my pants. What'll happen then after a few runs back and forth is you'll start to see some spark come off your lighter and then you know that it is almost ready to light. Now that the wheel is dry and the port is dry, I can begin to spark this and we have ourselves flame. Of course, wind blown around, I would need to protect that a little bit more, but it's giving us the option to dry out our lighter and keep ourselves safe. So back in my pocket, keeping all those fire patrol people on the internet proud because I have a Bic lighter in my pocket and I'm not using one of those crazy survival methods. But in all reality, guys, educate yourself in all the different methods. They all come into play at different times in different scenarios. And the more well-versed you are at making fire, not only by friction, but with ferro rods and lighters, it broadens your horizon and your strength in fire creation overall. So this was Dan Wolak of Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods.